Coach, an emphatic win to start this uh, prospect showcase for your team. How did you feel that your team was able to respond after uh, New Jersey took that one nothing lead? Well, I thought, you know what, I thought we had a good start. Uh, we were physical in the first uh, couple shifts, and then, you know, everybody's nervous in their first shift. So after a few shifts, they got their feet under them, and structurally they, they played okay and survived the first and then regrouped, took a breath, and um, had some pretty good structure and some good energy in the second and kind of took the game over with special teams. I love you, Marilyn, and really outstanding play in the first period. He carried that throughout the the, um, the course of the game. How have you seen his game kind of grow since he came in last season under you as well? Well, he's just he's a competitor and he's calm, and that's what you want in a goalie. It's a guy that he exudes confidence, but he's not a cocky, loud guy. He's just a confident, calm player, and and that helps the whole team out. So for sure, if he if he wasn't in there in that first period, that could have got away from us. So Levy was huge, and then the guy settled in, like I said. But uh, as far as his growth. He just, the growth in him is just his physicality. Like he just needs to continue to get stronger and build up some, some, uh, you know, conditioning because mentally he's, he's as strong as they come and he's a steady line and I just love having him in the net. Uh, Ridley Gregg scores twice in the middle frame. Taryn Frazier also, Pfizer scores twice in the middle frame. What have you kind of seen from their chemistry and, and Roby as well as, as that line was big for you tonight? Well, I mean, Ridley's an elite hockey player and he's, he should be out in this in this same thing with Robbie. So, and the thing with uh, with Taryn is, you know, he's played a year of pro and there's not a lot of guys out there that have played a year of pro. And that's a big difference from playing junior or college and being out there with, with men and he's used to that. So I think it showed for him tonight that he's used to the, the physicality of big bodies and a little bit faster pace so he you know he rose above there and had a great night. Uh, you mentioned a, a prospect challenge like that you have a guy in Pfizer that's played in the ECHL you have these young guys how from a coaching perspective do you kind of marry that um, helping guys jump into the pro game and, and helping these guys with that experience continue to, to grow? Well I think uh, you know we had a practice yesterday before we got here and then just a little bit of video but just let them know that they're gonna. It's gonna. They're gonna make mistakes, and they're gonna be fine with mistakes. It's gonna happen, and as long as the work ethic's there, uh, they're gonna get back out on the sheet. So it's not a matter of if I make a mistake, I'm not gonna play. They knew. I knew. They knew they were gonna make mistakes. As long as they kept the effort up, they were gonna go back out there and, and go again. And I guess what's your kind of your message to the group after this game uh, about kind of the way that they've been able to gel so quickly and, and kind of take your the systems that you want to play and excelled in that tonight? Well, the message is just build on it, right? That's that's one game. We Obviously, it's better than losing, so uh, we'll make some lineup changes. We had eight guys sit out this morning, so they're going to go in tomorrow and then have them uh, play as well and, and match the effort that we had today from the guys that, that come out and hope to look for the same result tomorrow. Zach, was named the captain coming into the tournament. What do you see in his game coming in here? Compete. Doesn't take a shift off. I mean, it's it's five two, with two minutes left, and he's still chucking up and down the ice, and he just works and works and works, and he's intense and he knows the game. Like the little plays that a lot of people don't see, that they're not nothing plays, but they're little plays. He appreciates them when his teammates do them, and he encourages them. So, just just a really smart hockey guy, but his compete is outstanding. Important to see that leadership kind of filter or trickle down through the rest of the lines as well. Eh? Yeah, I think so. And I think when he's a young guy, first while well, he was at the rookie tournament. Like Last year, but first year pro, that that's confident enough to stand up and say things on the bench and say the right things on the bench, and then more importantly, go out and do the right things on the ice. And and if he's doing it, then the, you know they follow suit, especially when he's wearing the C. Just to circle back to Ridley Gregg, uh, how have you seen him grow over the past year? And what steps has he taken? Well, quite literally, he, he's grown because he just uh, at fitness testing, I think he was first in the bench press test, which you wouldn't have seen two years ago. I think he was right there with, you know, some big strong guys like Tyler Clevin. So uh, Ridley is is a quiet fierce, fierce competitor. If you watch him, you look at him, you think he's a passive guy, but he's as competitive as they can be. And uh, it's just a matter of the same as kind of Levy. It's just, just letting him, his body get into his competitiveness because he, I mean, he competes. He's not intimidated by bigger, stronger, older guys. So it's just a matter of the body catching up with, with the brain and then he should be off and running. How much do you think his NHL experience, how much do you, have you seen wanting to go away from that early on so far here? I, I just think he doesn't get rattled and flustered down here. I mean, 
it, it's a rookie tournament. He knows he's going to NHL camp. He knows he's got a real good chance to, you know, to, to compete for a spot there. So, but e even in the regular season, he doesn't get upset. If he makes a bad play, he stays calm. If he, he scores a highlight real goal, he stays calm. And I think that's he, he's learned that from you know watching his dad play and being around the NHL a long time, and now now playing it himself. Just the calmness in his game. How much of this game would you say is NHL ready? Oh, there's a lot of it. There's a lot of it ready. Uh, I mean, that's up to him and how hard he competes up there. But, I mean, I don't make those decisions if he makes the NHL or not. But uh, I know Ridley's going to go in there with the, the mindset that he's going to make them make a decision if he's, if he's NHL ready. But uh, I know he's trained super hard, and uh, we'll see how the chips fall when he, when he hits camp. And he's wearing an A. What is what went into that decision? What, what, how have you seen his league? Well, he's, he's played in the NHL, he's played in the American League two full seasons now, and just the way he conducts himself. Uh, he gets ready properly, he prepares properly, he says the right things, he does the right things, so, you know, it was a pretty easy, easy and obvious choice for him to, to wear a letter. Um, this camp in general, what does it mean for the development and how important is that in relation to the AHL? Well, this camp sets a standard, whether it's the work ethic that they need to have, the preparedness that they need to have, and that'll carry right on into NHL camp. And then as guys trickle down, the work ethic and the, and the tenacity that the, identif the identity of Ottawa and Belleville is going to be, uh, that's the first thing that gets instilled. And then, you know, systematic stuff comes along, but the culture and the work ethic is, is set right, right yesterday when we arrived in Ottawa, and, and it went again today. And as, as you mentioned, the two brand identities, as they start to merge more and more, um, how important is that unification? Oh, it's everything. It, it's everything, and it gives guys a chance. You know, when they get called up, they know they know the message, they know the systematic stuff, they know the expectations. And, and you know what, I, I've known DJ for, for 40 years, so I, I know what makes him tick. I know what what he likes in a player. I know what he doesn't like in a player. So I think it just helps. I, I have the ability to help guys prepare themselves best to have success when they get called up to DJ. And we've seen guys come through this camp to go to the American League in Belleville and then eventually on to the NHL. How important is that kind of streamlined journey? Yeah, the continuity of it, right? And that, and there's there's great stories of it. I mean, Drake Bathurst and I was talking to him yesterday before we left. He came to three, three, three of these camps. So, you know, guys like that and they see it and they see... They, they get to appreciate it and then they get to tell stories to some of these guys that are sitting in that room for the first time. Hey, it's a process, trust the process, listen to what's going on here, make the next step next year, get yourself to main camp and then the next year, the next following year, you know, compete for a job in Ottawa. And it's just to see the process and know that the process works when guys do the right things. They'll, they'll eventually, it might be two years, it might be three years, it might be five years, but if they, if they stay with the process, everything's there that they need to, to ultimately get to the NHL. Roby, a pretty emphatic win for you guys. How good was it to get back on the ice this afternoon? Yeah, it was nice to play again. It's, it's, it's been a while. Uh, obviously, a couple first periods were kind of hard after such a long break. But, yeah, good to get the first one off. Got to play with Ridley Gregg again. Uh, how nice was it to, to kind of get that chemistry built up as well? Yeah, obviously, he's a special player. Uh, he's probably going to play in the NHL this year. So uh, he's so skilled and it's easy to play with him. And, uh, yeah, I, I like playing with him. You got on the score sheet with a nice partial breakaway goal there out of the box. Um, what did you see kind of on, on that goal? Uh, that's the only move I had, so I kind of stick with it. And yeah, I got a nice pass and uh, good, good that he went in. And just uh, rookie tournament, uh, rookie the prospects challenge. You've been in part of these before. What, what does it kind of mean to you as a player to, to get into these competitive situations, play against some uh, other NHL teams in, in this kind of format? Yeah, it's uh, good to come here before the camp and uh, before the main camp and get a couple couple games under the belt. So it's obviously easier to go to the training camp after this. So yeah, it's pretty nice to be here. Um, how was your summer? Um, what did you kind of work on uh, that you thought was kind of the key touch points that David Bell kind of left with you as you went back to Finland? Yeah, uh, I, I try to get uh, more power and like strength strength on me and obviously a little bit conditioning. So. I can play more minutes, so that's probably the biggest ones. All right, here with Ottawa Senators prospect Ridley Gregg. Ridley, a couple goals for you this afternoon. How did that feel to get back on the ice and, and kind of show what you can do offensively? Yeah, good. It was good to kind of get the rust out a little bit in the first period there, and I think the boys were all a little nervous and rusty, but uh, from there it was all good. How much 
Is it of an advantage for a guy like you? You've played under David Bell. You've been in his system, and to come here to, to rookie camp and kind of be a, a seamless transition, maybe. Yeah, it's definitely a lot easier uh, spending here, spending the year last year with him. Uh, you know, the systems and everything is pretty much the same, so uh, it's a pretty easy transition. You've been in these tournaments before. What do they kind of, for a player's perspective, what do they kind of mean for you? What are you kind of looking to to achieve in something that's uh, so competitive but yet still a learning experience? Yeah, for the most part, probably just get noticed, uh, try to make a difference in the game, uh, and obviously play your game and make make a name for yourself, really. And just maybe uh, to play with a guy like Roby or Venti again, uh, how do you kind of balance that, kind of playing with a guy like Roby but then still trying to build chemistry with a new guy? Yeah, lucky enough, uh, our, our line had some chemistry tonight uh, and filled the net, obviously. But, uh, yeah, it just kind of it was pretty easy to make plays out there and kind of pick apart a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was nice. Uh, you went into this summer with, with a goal of making the NHL. Um, how do you, do you kind of – what did you work on maybe specifically and, and where do you feel your game is at now going into NHL training camp? Yeah, for the most part, I was just building my strength, uh, trying to get my weight up a little bit. Uh, I feel good now, so I think I did my part in the summer. So hopefully, just uh, have a good camp from here and go go from there. How valuable is this experience heading into camp? Huge. Uh, obviously, getting a couple of games in uh, before you head into main camp uh, it kind of makes it a lot easier. What did you take away from your NHL experience, and how did you use that for here? Yeah, for the most part, it was just confidence for me. Uh, getting those 20 games in last year, uh, just kind of build the confidence and experience uh, coming into this. So yeah. Have you seen yourself grow the last year as a person and as a player? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of different ways where, uh, you know, I, I wish I was like this a year ago. I think it would be a lot easier for me, but, uh, you know, that comes with the, the experience uh, and everything like that. So, yeah. What would you say your confidence level is at right now? Uh, definitely higher than it was last year, so I think that's a positive. You're wearing an A, sorry. You're wearing an A. What, uh, did you wear an A in the past, last year? Uh, no, I was hurt uh, last year for this camp, but, yeah. What does it mean to you to be wearing a letter this year? Yeah, it's it's cool. Uh, obviously, I'm a little bit of an older guy here uh, with some experience, so just try to help uh, some of the younger guys out a little bit and do what I can to help. Nice see Ostrovka get rewarded with a captaincy for the tournament. Yeah, uh, he's. Uh, I've seen him in junior a little bit. He's a, a great guy, unreal leader. So uh, you know, he he deserves it. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for time, now. Levy, uh, a big win for you and a really good first period and you were able to carry that momentum through the game, kind of kept this team in it. Uh, they're a little bit under siege early in the game. How did you kind of feel your game progress as the the game went on, I guess? Well, it always helps to face a lot of shots, so uh, I like it that way. And uh, it was fun coming into the game and face a lot of shots right away, so that helped a lot. And then uh, it is a, 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 like little during the game, but... Uh, yeah, I face a lot of shots, so that's always fun. For goaltender, how important is this tournament to get back into the feel of a competitive environment and face these shots? I know you you face guys in practice, but it's kind of a different feel. Yeah, it's uh, it's totally different to play a game and then uh, practice. So it's good to get going now. Uh, it's a little advantage going to the the main camp, so it's always good to play some games. How nice is it to see some of these young defensemen that you were able to play with in previous tournaments and in Belleville a little bit kind of flourish and see their growth as well? Yeah, it's just been good and uh, it's, uh, I feel like it, it's nice that we know each other already and we have a, I don't know, a good chemistry, but uh, it's, it's getting there and uh, they played well too, so a lot of, lot of uh, gotta like thank them too. Uh, Justin Peters, you've worked with him over in Kingston a little bit, Belleville obviously, and now here at another camp. Um, what's his advice been to you, to you lately, and what has he kind of seen in your game that he's really liked? Um, nothing too much right now. Like We don't want to mix my head with uh, stuff before a game. I just go in, the, in there and play, play my game, and uh, he's just giving me a little couple of tips here and there, but nothing uh, major. You got a taste of the AHL, you got a taste of the NHL last year. How much of a, a motivating factor was that? Oh, it's a lot. It's, a, it's huge uh, to get to know what the game is like, what I need to do, what I need to improve on them. And uh, it's good to get some games under my belt. And I guess just finally for me, um, this camp, what are you hoping to get out of it? Yeah, well, now it's the first game. I got that like out of the way and uh, get a good second game if I get another game in and... Uh, Enjoy.